Hello everyone and welcome back to Democracy 4. Uh, so I don't like leaving things half finished and I really do like this game like all previous versions and so I thought I'd jump back on and have our second term here as the President of the United States. So last time we had a pretty productive term all in all but we had a lot of issues at the same time. So we are the Green Party and we aim to turn the United States into a beacon of greenery. And we really did that. We absolutely slashed pollution, really improved the environment, improved health, all sorts of things started going up. Uh, at the same time, we do still have a lot of issues. Uh, notably, the GDP is on the way up now, but it really took a hammering. Apparently, putting on massive prohibitive uh, CO2 tax doesn't really do your heavy industry much good. But we managed to win a second term in a landslide, and so let's see if we can improve this further. So we still have plenty of issues. One good thing uh, that just ticked over, we no longer have a skill shortage. So that's really good. We're starting to get skilled people back that will really help our GDP. But as we can see, we still have issues. One issue is our deficit. It is at 83 billion. Uh, it's not the worst it's been, but it's not the best it's been. It's certainly not good. And we've still got a whole load of red issues popping around. So antisocial behavior is really high, as is alcohol abuse. There is still the respiratory disease, and this is ticking down, although it seems to have leveled out a little bit. We can see what we can do to help uh, tack this down. Should be able to do something about tobacco usage. There's also this issue with media monopoly, that there's a few companies that own all of the media. And we really were just ignoring this last time. That's having some bad effects here. Big one, though, and probably one of our major targets, is this, the uncompetitive economy uh, that we've been trying to tackle this, but we're really not great. Productivity isn't ideal. So, new term. Time to get cracking and see what we can do to fix all of this. We sorted out our cabinet last time, so we're all good to go. But let's see about tackling some of these issues. There's one thing, two birds for one stone. I am going to increase uh, the tobacco tax. Massively reduces tobacco usage, which will have a knock-on effect of knocking out respiratory disease. We do get a little bit more money. That's kind of the hidden thing here that we're not really going to be getting the extra 7 billion out of this because before long tobacco usage drops off so the money we get drops off. This should still reduce tobacco usage, give us some short-term gains. Nice easy initial policy there. And at the same time we're going to use some of that money nice and cheap, going to start an alcohol awareness campaign. Really doesn't cost us much and grand scheme things has a direct effect on alcohol consumption, which will then hit the alcohol abuse in turn. I think that's really worth doing. So I think that's a good first quarter. See what the next quarter brings us. Okay, GDP is still on the rise. Poverty is now going up. Despite the green arrow is a bad thing. Green arrows just mean going up. So we are going to need to keep an eye on this. Uh, this is just because we started increasing tobacco tax, which does hit uh, the poor uh, disproportionately heavily. Okay, so we've got um, issues with corporate medical marketing here. So doctors essentially being encouraged to prescribe drugs that are not needed uh, by the companies. So we can either take no action or we can introduce regulations. I think we are going to introduce a bit of regulations here. Uh, we're trying to improve the health a little bit. Okay, so that's hurt private healthcare and capitalists a bit, but it has increased our net uh, health and made retired people happy.
And I got a new achievement. Excellent. Okay, so this time I'm going to focus on our economy. And a couple of things that are really nice doing is just setting up these councils. So the National Business Council boosts GDP. Really cheap to implement. And really it's going to pay for itself. The increase to GDP gets us more money in. And that lets us pay off the debt. Also quite like the Trade Council, just increases foreign trade as well as foreign relations. So we just get more money coming in. Again, it's really not that expensive. And I've also implemented diverted profit tax. So basically getting rid of tax loopholes gets us a bit more money in, pisses off the capitalists. They should be happy with some of the other stuff we've put in. And the foreign relations should balance out. So we're giving more money, but we're saying, right, don't take us for granted. You can't declare your company's profits overseas to skip ads out. And lastly, I'm going to do this one. Adult education subsidies, boost education, boost productivity. And I think those two together are really going to help us. So GDP is continuing to rise. People are a little unhappy that we have uh, implemented the diverted profit tax. A lot of conservatives voted for us, and we're screwing them over. Well, okay, so there is a war happening in a neighboring country, uh, which means either Canada or Mexico is having a war. And so we are getting a big flood of immigration. Uh, has hit us quite badly. We'll have to see how that turns out. Might be a major issue there. Still incredibly popular. But on the bright side, we now do have a little bit of a surplus. Nothing to write home about, but it's definitely a start. Okay, so next up, I'm going to be splitting a couple of things. First, spending some of our newfound money to get more money. I want to start the enterprise investment scheme. So we basically give tax breaks to people wanting to or wanting to invest in small startup companies so this gives large savings to uh sort of innovators get more startup companies going a lot of people like it except the socialists and i could use with getting some of the catalysts on my side and uh, nicely this does employ uh improve gdp I'm just going to whack that one up to the max. So we're going to end up with a lot of self-employed people, which is fine. They're pretty happy with me right now. Uh, we are going to reduce the amount of socialism, uh, but I think that's going to work really quite well. Let's hope. And the second thing I'm going to do is spend probably a medium amount of money. I don't think I'm going to put this all the way up, but putting in childcare provision. So might start it off just at a medium uh, 36 billion here. Really, uh, this is just paying for people's uh, childcare, so people can get back into work if they choose to, and that improves productivity. So hopefully, sort of pay for itself. But it does a lot of other generally good things here, uh, notably increases gender equality, and so I think that's going to be very useful. And I think I'm going to leave it on that default. Or maybe just bump it up to 40 billion. Nice round, 40 billion. Only people who don't like it are capitalists, but they love the last thing I pushed through. Here's so what's looking good. GDP is on the rise. Unemployment is falling. Small budget deficits, that's not bad, considering what we've just thrown in. And um, Oil drilling opportunity, really given that we're the Green Party, we're not going to go with that. So uncompetitive economy is steadily ticking down. Respiratory disease is having a bounce back. Problem is the environment is now getting worse because GDP is improving. One thing we're just going to do is invest a little bit in youth clubs. Should help bring down antisocial behavior. And it reduces crime a little bit too. And it's quite cheap. I'm also going to put in a smart meter program. Improves our energy efficiency to help the environment and increase environmentalist members and environmentalists love me. So that should be a net win. And for similar reasons, I'm going to uh, put in the micro generation grant. Really don't want to lose the gains that we got from fixing the environment last time. Hey, okay, GDP is still ticking up. 
Still got a small surplus. So we've got foreign uh, pro-democracy protesters in a, a nearby country. I'm going to support them. Yeah, so it hurts our trade a bit, makes the liberals happy. I'm going to increase the strictness of our competition law just to help break that media monopoly. I also really want to start pushing down. We've got multiple crime problems. I think just a better funded police force is going to fix that. And lastly, to kind of hit two birds with one stone again, I'm going to start a reforestation campaign. Directly helps respiratory disease go away uh, and improves the environment. And it just seems to be matching with our uh, policies. Nicely, unemployment still dropping, GDP still going up. I guess one of our donors is demanding a packaging tax. Um, otherwise, they're going to pull out. I don't think we'll just agree with that. That's fine. Hurts GDP a tiny bit. We've been helping GDP a lot. Helps the environment a little bit. I think that's fair. Okay, so our national sports stars aren't allowed to talk elsewhere because we supported that pro-democratic party. But nicely, our credit rating has just been upgraded. Which is really, really nice. Boost to GDP and business confidence. Okay, so we're being alerted that gig economy may stick, uh, kick in soon. So we may need to do something about that. Antisocial behavior has dropped off. That will go away next time. So one thing we could do to stop the gig economy is just have a more balanced labor law. It's going to decrease our working week and our productivity. Uh, but hopefully that will be enough just to stop that before it happens. Yeah, crime is on the way down and antisocial behavior is no longer an issue. I have a very nice surplus now. Uh, so, basically what to do with internet tracking, I'm going to say one users. Nice middle ground there. Makes capitalists and GDP happy. I think that's fair. Get a pop-up saying we're going to track. And if you don't want to be tracked, well, that's what NordVPN is for. And given that we have a lot of money, I'm going to put a load of that money into our space program. So, we're back to array of telescopes. We can push all of that there. Let's get our very own space station. That boosts Patriot happiness, and they've been getting a bit iffy with me recently. Nicely increases technology and really boosts internet speed, and hopefully that'll help tackle the media monopoly. If everyone has access to the internet, they're not just relying on, uh, you know, Fox News. The GDP has taken a bit of a hit. Let's keep an eye on that. Global economy is in a massive recession, though. Relative to the global economy, we're doing okay. But that is a massive, massive recession that's going on. Uh, so whether we have a DNA database, uh, I'm going to go for um, criminal only. So if you commit a crime, your DNA is there. That decreases crime a little bit. Noise the liberals a little bit. And while we're on topic of tackling the media monopoly, I was looking for this, I couldn't find it, because we already had a state broadcaster. It was just set to minimum funding. So we can whack the funding up, we can easily afford that. This education a little bit, and directly affects the media monopoly. Alcohol abuse is trending down. And since we do have a really good environment, let's just see if we can boost tourism with an ad campaign. I'm just going to chuck some more funding into science. Big boost to technology, boost GDP directly. Energy efficiency is really nice. And generally just an all-round thing, all-round good thing. Okay, had some issues with uh, my microphone not recording. So the rest of this episode I've actually already played through. Uh, but... The recording was uh, rubbish. So this is my second attempt at the second half of this term. Uh, this is where I left off the first bit. So looking good so far. GDP's on the rise. Unemployment's down. Crime is down. We're running a little bit of a deficit. I've got brought up on rather severe, rather worrying charges on the International Criminal Court. But uh, that's just 
an odd thing. So let's see where we are and try and remind myself of where I was here. So alcohol abuse is heading down nicely. Respiratory disease is going down, not quite there yet. Uncompetitive economy is getting better. Medium monopoly is going down, but again, not quite there yet. So I can't remember what order I did things in last time. It did go very well, which is a bit unfortunate. Uh, had some issues, but mostly went really well. Uh, but I can't remember exactly what order I did things in, so I will just uh, do my best from the place that we're at now. And one thing I do want to uh, start with is public libraries to boost our education. They're relatively cheap, but do quite a lot of good, and they make the retired happy, and we've annoyed the retired a little bit already. And we can put in stamp out racism weeks. We had that big influx of refugees. And I just want to make sure that doesn't turn into an issue. So let's just do something that directly impacts racial tension. Okay, so we've got a number of very good things. Big thing here that did kick off in my last run uh, the technolo technological advantage has kicked in. That gives us a nice boost to productivity and lower uh, increases GDP as well. So really, really nice stuff there. Okay, so here we've got a foreign firm investing in our IT infrastructure. Okay, and I'm going to be wary of this uh, since I know one of the issues that can come up, we managed to avoid it in my previous run, was uh, cyber warfare. I don't really want a foreign firm to have control of that infrastructure. So it has hurt our GDP a little bit. GDP is still going up, and we are running a small surplus here. So uncompetitive economy is really going down. Media monopoly is nicely going down. Respiratory disease is still on the way out, and alcohol abuse is just about gone. So let's see what we can do to help Tip a couple of those over the edge. Now, one thing I'm interested in, the media monopoly gets negatively affected by our internet speed. And our internet speed is going up, but one thing that we could do to help push this in the right direction is put in a state company. And that might be a good alternative. We've just said that the foreign countries can't invest in our um, infrastructure, but maybe we should be putting some of our money into that. Oh, I didn't realize that I thought this would be a state telecoms company in competition with existing ones. No, this is nationalizing the uh, state thing. So I don't think I'm actually going to do that in the end. I'm not really going for a sort of communist playthrough, extreme socialist playthrough here. I'm not going to nationalize that. I thought this was setting up an additional company. I do want to put in clean fuel subsidies hoping that this helps with our respiratory problems. I'm also going to put in a cycling campaign, really cheap, just improves health a little bit. So crime has basically been eliminated here. Alcohol abuse has subsided. We are now entering territory that cyber warfare might become a problem. So this is really because we've got really high technology and GDP. Um, so we're a big target. We do need to look out for that. Uh, so we've got a potential merger here. I think I'm going to block this merger. GDP is already really high. That does please the trade unionists a little bit. Uncompetitive economy, unfortunately, it's ticking up a little. We need to do something to push this over. And I'm just going to push the competition law up just a little bit. Uh, just to try and get rid of media monopoly once and for all. And give some robotic research grants uh, to help boost industrial automation. Not going to go too extreme so it does annoy the trade unionists, but really trying to get rid of that uncompetitive economy. Unfortunately, the environment is steadily going down. GDP is going through the roof, so lots of industry, lots of problems that's causing. I am going to... Uh, take a big step though and ban coal. Our GDP is fine, so I'm not worried about that hit. This will annoy the capitalists a bit. I'll see if I can appease them with something later. 
uh, directly impacts respiratory disease and it helps improve the environment. So let's kick that off before anything else. Okay, a journalist has been jailed, unfortunately. Okay, so rare earth metal prices are getting really high and that may be an issue going forward. We do have a huge budget surplus, which is looking very good. So I'm going to use some of our surplus and put it into our military again. Hopefully that will see off any issues of uh, cyber warfare and so stabilize some things. Uh, streamers offering a birthday song? Sure, why not? Get the youth vote, lose parents and conservatives. Still got a massive, massive budget, but internet crime might start to be a problem. But a big thing I want to push through is rare metal mining. Increases productivity and technology, makes patriots and the capitalists happy, and it reduces rare metal, uh, rare earth metal prices. So let's put that in selected sites across the country. Same time, I want to boost our intelligence services, try and tackle some of the cyber things that are coming up. I'm going to allow face recognition in public. We needed something to make capitalists happy. Uh, but pollution really is starting to shoot up. We need to do something big about that now. Don't think we have to worry about election. We expected 97% of the vote. Uh, we need to get rid of one of our advisors, though, since she is now getting very, very unhappy. Nobody actually wants uh, that job. It's fine. I'll employ this guy. Uh, very good at campaigning. Oh, no. Uh, sorry, I just had something misselected there. I'm going to hire uh, yes, guy here. He's not good at campaigning, but very, very loyal. So the environment. Once again, the environment is an issue. Really, this is because our GDP is just skyrocketing. We have money to spend. Let's see what we can do. We're going to put in car emission limits and a massive carpooling campaign. Let's chuck in bicycle subsidies while we're at it. Got a new achievement, a subsidy SAM. High rise caught fire, it's not good. GDP is starting to go down. Uh, the gig economy is kicking off, unfortunately. Environmental protests have started. We do have a private space industry, it's pretty nice. We have got rid of the media monopoly. Uh, gridlock is starting to be an issue. There we go, our achievement for putting in loads of subsidies. I think we're going to have to put a fair amount into expanding our roads to avoid issues. Congestion is not going to be good for the environment. So you have a lot of cars idling rather than going where they're needing to be. Right, and then we can throw in a few cheap things. Keep the country tidy campaign. Uh, compulsory water meters. Okay, so we have a lot of bad things that have hit us all at once here. Well, one good thing, we can declare gig economy as disguised employment. That will hopefully make the gig economy go away. We've got gridlock on our roads. Do you seem to have stopped it, uh, so that should go away quite quickly. Internet crime there is a problem. What's social media addiction? And we've now entered the rare earth crisis and cyberbullying might start to be a problem. Okay, so we can put in a cyberbullying awareness campaign. That does directly reduce internet crime. And since it's becoming such an issue, we can start to regulate social media. It will help directly with social media addiction. It does annoy the liberals and the youth. So I'm going to put it in in a bit of a balanced way. I'm also going to put in a diplomatic service to increase our foreign relations to hopefully bring down costs of imports. So let's see our election results then. It's really not spent any time on electioneering this time round, and we still won with a massive, massive majority. So we have really slashed crime and increased lifespan. Productivity and the currency strength is way, way up. CO2 emissions way, way down. A lot more energy efficient, really pushing to electric cars. Rare metal prices have gone through the roof, though, which isn't ideal. 
Violent crime has been slashed. Health has really improved there. Education on the way up. Technology and GDP both improved. So that's our goals for uh, sort of the second term. Looking very good. Average temperatures are down. So that's good. We're avoiding global warming. In terms of my policies, uh, this time round, I have swung very much down the liberal side of things. Heading towards Iron Rand at this point capitalist uh, liberal trying to uh, keep the economy going but all in all i think that has been a good playthrough so let's retire in glory i enjoyed that very much um quite happy leaving it there there are ways that you can mess around with it to stay in power um but i'm quite happy just having that as a two-term game if you have any ideas of what you'd like to see in a future Democracy 4 campaign or any other games you think I should try, just do leave them in the comments below. Uh, otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Cheers!